Bueno, antes de nada quiero aclarar que si vemos a Walter peleándose con el español, no es para reírnos de él. Lo hacemos para que te formes una idea de las diferencias y semejanzas entre las dos lenguas. La forma en que un inglés dice algo en español te muestra cómo deberías decirlo tú en inglés. Veremos cómo Walter tiene algunos problemas con la pronunciación. Por ejemplo, algunas veces pronuncia mal la S. Walter dijo hermoso con el sonido de una Z inglesa en vez de hermoso, que es como se diría correctamente en español. Hermoso, española, hermoso. ¿Y qué pasa entonces con el inglés? En el idioma inglés, la letra S se pronuncia a veces como si fuera una Z y otras como una S. Vanessa, what do you think is important when you're learning a foreign language? Well, I agree with Walter. Do you remember what he said? No. The way to learn Spanish is to talk to Spanish people. You need to use the language every day with Spanish people. And of course, there are other important things too. When I learnt Spanish, I found that you have to do lots of different things to learn a language. There's grammar, of course. Gramática. But that's only a small part of it. Yes, you also have to learn the vocabulary. El vocabulario. You have to learn the rules of pronunciation. Las reglas de pronunciación. I find pronunciation so difficult. What do you think is the most difficult word to pronounce in Spanish, Vanessa? I think it's sugerencias. It took me a long time to learn how to say that. Rejoneador was the most difficult word for me. But I listened and I practiced and I practiced and I practiced. Yes, you have to practice. Practicar. Y otra cosa que he descubierto es que puedes aprender de tus errores si piensas en ellos. Es importante darse cuenta de que todos cometemos errores cuando aprendemos una lengua extranjera. Es una parte esencial del proceso de aprendizaje. Pero nunca dejes de seguir aprendiendo inglés por eso. Por supuesto, hay muchas cosas más que tienes que hacer cuando aprendes una lengua. En la próxima escena, Jean y Walter hablan con su amigo, Oscar, sobre estas técnicas. Escucha y observa con atención. ¿Qué hizo Oscar para aprender español? It's no good. I can't remember the Spanish words. Donde, donde. Please use the dictionary. It's very simple. If you don't know a word or really can't remember it, just look it up in the dictionary. Oh, Oscar. I'm just not very good at languages. I make mistakes. I forget the rules. People don't understand what I say. Jean, everyone can learn a language. Keep working. It takes time. And everyone makes mistakes. How are you going to learn if you don't make mistakes? Just keep speaking and thinking about what you are saying all the time. You speak very good Spanish, Oscar. Thank you. But it wasn't easy for me. I went to classes for two years. Sometimes I thought it was impossible for me to speak the language, but I needed to speak Spanish. So I uh, practiced every day, and I always read Spanish books and newspapers. You should do that too. And when I didn't understand what people said, I said, Could you say that again, please? Well, okay, I was wrong. After nine months' hard work, Jean passed her Spanish exam. 
and she's got a new job at the bank. She's now manager of the Bureau de Change. I think I ought to learn another language. It can't be too difficult, can it? Before we finish, I'd like you to think about how you give advice. Listen carefully. ¿Cuáles son las dos expresiones inglesas que se utilizan para dar consejos? You should find someone who can speak Spanish and practice with them. I think I ought to learn another language. Creo que debería aprender otra lengua extranjera. I think I ought to learn another language. Should y ought to significan lo mismo. Debería. Now you practice with ought to. Give advice to someone who's learning a language, like this. You should learn the grammar. You should learn the grammar. You ought to learn the grammar. You ought to learn the grammar. You should learn the rules of pronunciation. You should learn the rules of pronunciation. You ought to learn the rules of pronunciation. You ought to learn the rules of pronunciation. You should practice. You should practice. You ought to practice. You ought to practice. Very important. But that's all we have time for.